Uh, woof. This is going to be... Let's, we got to talk about the school board again. Yay, oh, fun. No. For what? They want to raise taxes to pay for the teacher raises. No. E Millage. Millage. <sighs> school board convened on Tuesday to discuss the possibility of including a referendum on the 2024 ballot. So it's going to go to voters uh, seeking voter approval to raise the millage rate by at least one mil. That's not a million dollars. That's just one mil. What is one mil? One mil. Uh, it's probably going to affect you maybe by a couple hundred dollars. They say okay. from about it'll it'll affect you by around three hundred and twenty five dollars to six hundred and twenty five dollars a year. Okay. Just like more than what the raises will be for each. Wait, wait, can we do a half cent or something? What happened with that? That was yeah, that sounded well, good. Half a bill. <laughs> yeah. The additional funds generated, they say, from the tax increase would be allocated towards teacher salaries, school supplies. So not just teacher salaries, by the way. School supplies, bus driver pay, curriculum programs, safety and security measures, and other educational needs. That's where I get a little uh, yeah. uh, worried. Other educational needs. What do we slam in that category? Like STEM yeah. projects. It's like things that they unknown that the teacher yeah. wants to use their imagination for. Well, that's, that's what you hope, yeah. yeah. Well, that's honestly what the foundation covers, so... Yeah, and, and the millage rate is your uh, property tax, so the people that just rent, they don't have to pay anything. Uh, right, right. This this hits homeowners. Oh this hits homeowners gosh. in their pockets. Only yeah. homeowners. The, right. The, the only homeowners are people who are paying the most money for stuff anyway. This mm -hmm. is... It's going to be tough again. It's the same thing we talked about earlier in the year with the commission, man. It's I don't see it, it may be it may be something that a lot of people feel is very very worthy, but nobody's going to vote to raise their own taxes right yeah. now. I don't like Trying touching the millage. To play nope. the heartstrings. They got to be creative. This school board has got to be more creative than this. Um, and I know there's not a ton of wiggle room, but you got to find it. You got to find it because people are not going to vote for this. Um, that would require more than 50% of voters' approval to pass, they say. According to the district, a one mil increase, we just mentioned this, would result in about a $325 uh, dollar increase per year or uh, up to about a $625 yeah, increase per year. It depends, be a little on, higher depends than on the value, the value of, of what your home. house is, uh, yep. the taxable rate of your house. Yep. Uh, let's see. In addition to this millage rate referendum, voters in 2024 will also be asked to renew that half cent tax we've talked about before. Mm -hmm. uh, that half cent sales surtax, which was initially passed by St. John's County voters in 2015 mm, yeah. to go to the school. So now we are asking voters twice in one year to continue with a tax, which I don't know that they'll even do that. I, yeah, I'm I don't okay, know that I'm we're okay even going to continue half, with that. Half cent probably because of the, um, you know, you know, we need, we need to stay up with it and the infrastructure that we have, but the millage, there's, it's going to be a tough one for me to vote for. It's going to be a tough one for me to vote for too. It's going to be a tough one for most people to vote for because we are stressed to the max with our money anyway. I mean, everybody's making less. The dollar is worth less. We're just in a tough spot right now as far as as far as money is but concerned. The problem and is, is they know that. So why yeah. go for this? My question. I just That's don't a good understand. question. That's a good question. What's the thought it's, process it's, behind well, it? The, it kind of gives some cover. Of, it kind of gives them cover of when services go down, they'll just say, "Oh, well, yep. you didn't vote for it." Yep. So, right. Um, it's yep. It's, it's, yep. it's it, passing it, the buck. It, it gives you gives them cover. It's passing the buck. They need to figure this out in a more creative way. Yeah, I mean, you know, property prices are obviously going up. So either the tax collector needs to pick up his game a little bit or, um, you know, don't just hit. Don't just hit us. And everybody out there, if you own your house, make sure your homestead in your house. Yes. Don't make that mistake. Yes, for sure. So, boy, this is going to be a tough sell. It's going to be. Now, here's here's the tricky part, though. Do non home non homeowners get to vote? Right. On whether homeowners yep. have to pay this tax. Yes, yes. So if you have no skin in the game, right. you still get, you still to, get vote to vote to, to yeah. enact this and penalize homeowners yep. to s subsidize raises. This is, t this is a tough sell, man. I think we need to find another way to do this. Um, There's so many things. When you were going through that list, I'm like, that's what the St. John's County Education Foundation does. And I don't know if they're leaning on those resources enough, but there's matching grants and elements that can really kind of circumvent a lot of this millage stuff. So I'm just you saying, hope. lean on the foundation. Yeah. That's what it's there for. Get creative. Yeah, we're talking millions of dollars. I know, yeah. but it still could happen. Yeah. There's still federal things that could maybe trickle in. I don't know. I'm it just, could put a dent, but it also wouldn't be a permanent thing, though. Right. That's, I think yeah. that's the tough thing about it leaning would, on that. Totally, it would totally, de it yeah. would totally deplete 
the 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 group of what that does. So I'm just trying yeah. to find some sort of solution. Yeah, no, no, so they it, don't come it's, to us. Like where yeah, they it's, do. it's it's not going to pass. Yeah. I, I just don't see it passing. And they need to, so start thinking now. Like we said to the county commission, start thinking now about how you're going to actually give teachers a raise if this is what you want to do, because this this is going to be a tough sell. It's going to be a very, very tough sell to, for people to tax themselves in this particular environment. 10, 15 years ago, it was a different story. Yeah, Shia makes a good point. Teachers are <laughs> taxpayers, too, so they get a raise pay to pay for higher taxes. I mean, right, it's a right, story. It's right. Story, they get Shia. higher I mean, yeah. taxes. The right. They get a raise, but then they get their taxes. Yeah, yeah. they own a house. Bumped up. Right. Yeah, that's right. That's a good point, right. Shannon. It's, this is a tough situation, man. It's a tough situation because we are. I talked to the guy who was working on our computer yesterday. Mm. Uh, his wife's a teacher. And uh, she teaches in Flagler County because they pay better. Yeah. They pay better out there. Um, but at the same time, you can't ask the public to subsidize this anymore uh, right now. They're just not going to do it. Mm. Uh, we're, in a, we're in between a rock and a hard place. We need good teachers. We need to retain good teachers. And uh, pay has a lot to do with that. But people aren't going to vote. People aren't going to vote to to charge themselves more money right now. No, it's just not going to happen. We're all so thin, spread thin as it is. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Find another way, guys. Find another way. This this continues on. 